it E? Boys, girls, peoples? Dirty old rock crawling bills of here, eh? I wanted to show you a few things I did. Freaking right I did. Because I've still been working on these rock crawlers constantly. So I got this the old SCX10 done. Hey, or SC10 or SX10 or whatever the heck you want to freaking call it, boys. Check out that, eh? That thing is freaking decent now. Look where I put the battery, boys. Right back there. Freaking right I did. I don't care about lower gravity of weight, I don't. Why would I? Get the old winch on her, but I gotta get her working still because the remote's not there. Got a little LED bar on her, eh? Freaking decent, boys. Put the switch back here, I did. With a nine volt battery mounted on her. Freaking right, I did. And I also, we'll pull this off, boys. Pull off the old box of Ruski here, boys. Girls, give me a sec. Hang tight. It's a little bit of a pain in the balls getting this off, it is. Freaking right, it is. But hey, rock crawling is supposed to be freaking relaxing, it is. So you just take your time here, boys. You pull the pins. You pull her off, you slide the battery out. Hey, and decent, hey, friggin' decent. But look at that, boys, they even mounted a gas can on the back of the battery, boys, so it doesn't even look like it's a battery. Friggin' right, it did. But uh, I put the old hobby wing axe into this old girl I did. Friggin' right, look at that job, boys. Hey, I got wires all over the place I do, but I got a pile of LEDs in there. Friggin' right I do. I'm running the 18 kV motor in this one I am, eh? Which is fast enough. The only thing is, this axle was brand new, and I noticed it's got some skipping going on when you hard brake, eh? So I'm gonna have to adjust the old brake on that so it's not so clickety-clackety. Friggin' right I am. But I did take it off and checked it as tight, so it's just the gear's got a little bit of play. Might have to shimmer up a little, a thou or so, eh? Just to tighten her up for now. But, uh, yeah. This thing works good, and I will have some videos coming up to show you. And don't forget to subscribe and like too, and tell me what you think of this deal, eh? Friggin' right, you better. But check it out, eh? You turn her on, boys. And look at that. Hey, she's got tail lights. She does. Hey, decent tail lights, boys. I've got two blue lights that shine into the old Kabaruski, so when the cab's on, it looks pretty decent. That's where the battery sits when. Uh, when she's when she's in ride mode, eh? Right there. And I got some green lights on the front, I do. Pointing straight up, boys, but you can't have them so they hit the old cross members you can't. So they gotta be pointing up, they do. And they're freaking bright when they point. But anyways, the daughter's happier than pigs and pigs in a blanket with that she is. Friggin' right she is. The body turned out really good too, boys. Friggin' right it did. Hobby wings a way to go on these things. I'm telling you right now, and you'll see on the videos to come you will. But check out that, eh? Get all the little stuff glued to her and everything else and the daughter just loves it she thinks it's great freaking right she does but there's the battery and the switch for the roof lights eh? that's all i did there boys and girls freaking right it did probably you don't have to unplug it every time you take the damn body off but the trx4 i got something to show you too the trx4 is running the old hobby wing axe too but it's got the 2300 in her she's about the same speed as stock just so you know boys you know like don't expect it to go blasting unless you gear gear up and i'm not going to because i like her slow because she's a crawler like i said in the last video but i wanted to show you this thing picked up this thing and i'll put the link below for it you wire it up into the old doodad and you plug it in and it's a magnet base it is so it gives you the positive negative with little pennies hey eh? check it out and then you got 2S, 3S, and 4S, whatever the heck that is, boys, in case I guess your your battery's mounted somewhere else. So you don't have to keep plugging the battery, and I think that's what it's for. But you mount that thing in the car, hey? And, uh, sorry, it's got 1S, 2S, and 3S, I apologize, and 12 volt. I just put some screws through the hood and bolted her down, I did, because there's bolts that go through the old magnet. Just so you know, if it's for a TRX4, you'll have to do a little trim on the old thing, too, because it's a little bit wider. So you gotta do a little bit of trimming on the inner fender wells. But if it's on your your axle, then I think you'd be good, boys, because there's nothing in the bodies on them. Check this out. This is friggin' decent. She's a little bit tight still, she is. There it is. Did you hear that? Friggin' right. And look at look how strong this magnet is. Like that's crazy. You gotta really yank on her to get her off. So that's freaking decent and then as soon as it clicks in the lights come on here i'll show you i'll actually show you i will so we'll turn the car on watch this boys watch decent no more wiring into the car boys she just goes clicky click clackity clicky click clackity hey magnet base powered up so tell me what you think of that thing it's made by 
Actually, it's made it's made by CNRC Axa 10 ACX 10 2. So it's actually designed for the axle, but she's on the TRX4. So thanks a lot, guys. Hey, eh? I didn't want to put that on the daughter's. She drives it, and I play with this one more, so I want it on mine. I did. Hey, eh? I'll have to get another one for that. But I'll throw the link below for this, and you can tell me what you really think of it. Hey, eh? but I think it's pretty cool if you're into the non having wires all over the friggin' place. And then having to hold the body up and plug it in and I left the battery plugged in again, boys. Friggin' right I did. Make sure you unplug your batteries, boys. Hey, why wouldn't you? But anyways, I got some good videos coming up with these things. I've been tinkering around with them. I haven't got enough footage yet to put out a video on the old crawling. But once we get enough footage, you'll see how she works, you will. But I'm like I said, I'm quite happy with the old Hobby Wing Dioski. But uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. This is just a shorty, but I wanted to show you. Why wouldn't I? Eh? Why the hell wouldn't I, boys? But, uh, getting some stuff ready here and this and that and the other thing. Look at this, pack. Look at this box. I think it's getting overwhelmed. I do. I think I'm going to need a bigger box, boys. Might have to fill that one up right there. Pretty great, well. And then I got the boat. Check out the boat, eh? The boat's mint. I still haven't got this thing running. I've got the new receiver for it. Eh? Right there. Brand new receiver. Still haven't put it in. Why would I? Hopefully we'll get this thing going here shortly. What do you think of my trailer I built, eh? Pretty decent. The tire needs tightening, but... Pretty decent trailer, eh? Friggin' right. Look at that thing. That's friggin' decent. The old friggin' X-Max sitting there with some more wounds of the old fire. Friggin' right it is. The old, you know... Oh, boys. She's cocked over, she is. I ain't dirtier than dicks. Look at this thing. What's really going on? You're just sitting up there minding your own business. Shut up, eh? If I wanted to hear from you, I'd rattle my zipper. Freaking right, I would. Why wouldn't I? But anyways, boys, just a quick little video there to show you what's what and this and that and the other thing. And uh, hopefully you had a good day like me and didn't do anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now. Keep on a